I mean, again, not to harp on the subject or I keep picking at it, but I mean, we're, we're in the theater, right? It's mm-hmm. all about the body. It's all about the actual flesh and blood being up there and singing and talking and moving, whatever. Yeah. And the screen is doing something to the world. Um, well, it is. It is doing something to our audiences. I mean, you know, it, it, keep in mind, for years now, Robert, we've been sitting at home watching our entertainment. It hasn't been live. It's been on a screen, which has been really entertaining. But we can push pause. We can stop that entertainment as we see fit to go and get a glass of water, get something to eat, and we come back and we resume the entertainment. That's a shift for people now who are going back to a live experience. Right. And, and I see it in the audiences. Audiences are <clears throat> less likely to sit for a long period of time. You know, that's going to have to either be something that we look at with content that perhaps we don't, you know, three-hour shows are harder for people, or audiences get sort of used to being back in the space. It's Is the expectation for a theater audience that once you're in, you commit? Like the performers do that. Once we start the show, we commit. You hope, you hope so. You hope so. I mean, I, I always think about it. I think all the time on when I'm, when I'm directing a show, whether it's a play or a musical, I do want to reset people's clocks. So when we get people seated, it, it, there has to be a moment and a time of transition for an audience to go from their outside world, rushing in, sometimes people are late, they sit. And it's really about how we start shows and how, and that that's shifted too, because you know people, there's a lot going on and they need to settle. And so I call it just you know resetting the clocks a bit for people. And that's how you pace the opening scenes. That's, that's how you light openings. them. That's yeah. how the music. Yeah. You pace them up. You pace them down. You yeah. pace them. I, I, I just, I do. I usually do something that allows an audience to go. You know, we have the whole cell phone thing. That's great. And, and but then they have to have something that goes. Okay, I'm going to forget about that stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to do this now. And, just allow them time to settle into it and and sometimes it's about not giving them too much right out of the gate too it's shifted i find it fascinating audiences are fascinating it's one of the hardest things to do as a director or choreographer the sit. initial entry into sit the journey. audience sit in an audience okay to, to give you the other the other extreme i mean Derek goldby one of those oh, all those directors wow. right yeah that's a blast from uh, the past yes i can't remember your did you ever work with Derek? oh no i just heard him he was yeah exactly uh, thank you very much he was the reverse <laughs> It was, you start, the lights go up, bang, we're going yep. 80 miles an hour yep. right away. And if, yep. they don't, if, they, if they're not catching up within five minutes, they're left behind. Yep. But he said, if you go 80 miles an hour, yep. sorry, kilometers an hour, yep. the moment you're out of the gate, yep. you will tune them up to the speed yep. you want them to go. It's possible. It's possible. I, I, I think with COVID and that people haven't been in a live experience, uh, I, I think it's a lot. It's a lot. And, and, you know, I mean, that can, that can look different, too. You can start with, in a downbeat of, a, of an orchestra, you can hit something hard and, and people go, oh, my God. And then, and then we, you know, we kind of ease in. There could be something visual, you know. But, but just overstimulation is, is hard to recover from, is all, I think. That's just my personal opinion. It's a lot. And how does Donna, the director, then choose, right? Here I am starting Chicago. Here I am starting this. How do I choose my opening beats? Do you feel that out in rehearsal? I guess until I get the next cast member, the, the, one that I, the one that's the hardest cast member to deal with on a show, and that's the audience. That's the cast member that shows right. up, that we don't know what they're going to do. We don't know who they are. We don't, they don't know the material. And they show up as very much part of the show, and they inform what happens.